Hey friends, welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen and it is time to really put the final touches on getting ready for this baby who will be here in the next month or so. So first we are doing what all new parents do, learning how to install a car seat base for the first time. Car seat right here. We're gonna get the base installed in our little our little Prius, our little family car. <laughs> it's a it's a good time to do it because at 37 weeks pregnant, you never know. You could go technically go into labor at any time. It's good to be prepared. So we're gonna get that done. And then I have some other stuff to do in the house, which I will show you. <sighs> Making some freezer meals, um, using some of the garden veggies. While Chris cleans out the car, I'm going to be looking in this owner's manual and trying to find some information about installing car seats. I don't know, I'll, I'll see, see what I can find. Hey, what are you doing? You helping us install the car seat? I'm driving this thing. Okay, let's see what's next. Yeah, it's these back pieces. So pull, a, pull that one out on your side? Pull latch anchor bars. Are these anchor bars supposed to come forward? Cause there's like a something on the back of the seat that has like a child bar. Like what are you doing? Hi. Oh, that's for a system to the top strap. Hi. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that, it. That it. Now all you gotta do is just put the car. Oh gosh, we got another visitor coming in. Hot. Watch out. Hello. Now I would just check the fit by... Yeah. Looks good to me. Yeah, I mean, it fits there fine. And I, my seat should already be in the fully forward position, so... So, this is gonna stay in the house. We got the base installed in the car. And we'll bring this in the house until we're ready to go to the hospital. Oh. So for the freezer meal, I need to grab some sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna grab a couple sweet potatoes from our harvest. So for the freezer meal, I need to pick some kale. And for dinner tonight, I need to pick um, watermelon radish or two and cilantro. So kale, watermelon radish, and cilantro. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest I know you've had ended up harvesting a little bit more than I planned. So I'm gonna pull out all the stuff that I harvested, get everything washed, and then I will start prepping for dinner, which I'm gonna start making first, and then I'll make the freezer meal after that. So I'll just show you guys what I harvested from the garden. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies So I've got dinner going, but for the meal prep that I'm making 
for postpartum after our baby comes we are going to I am Chris is busy out there I'm going to be making enchiladas so I'm gonna use sweet potatoes from the garden and the rest of our peppers some onion garlic tortillas black beans uh, vegan cheese and enchilada sauce to make up some enchiladas I'm not gonna bake them I'm just gonna like wrap them up pour the cheese and sauce on top and then freeze it and then when we're ready to eat them we'll just pop them in the oven so I'm gonna start by chopping the sweet potatoes and getting them cooked and it should be pretty quick. It's over now, so don't despair. The world could fall down, but it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out. This is the enchilada filling. And then I'll just use this enchilada sauce I got from the store because I don't have time to make enchilada sauce right now and some of these vegan cheese shreds that I got from Aldi's and we'll go ahead and we'll fill up tortillas wrap them up onto this pan right here and freeze freeze the pan um, yeah and I also got some beautiful lovely carrots and radish to use for dinner and a really funny shaped, nice head of broccoli. I think this is because it's an heir it's an heirloom variety of broccoli, so it has like this very loose head, but it's really nice for chopping into quick florets. And these just gorgeous carrots. And watermelon radish. are made and they look delicious this guy wants to eat them <laughs> but we're covering them up and they're gonna be for parenthood we'll eat them when we're parents isn't that exciting it is exciting <laughs> so yesterday I made 12 breakfast sandwiches using tofu like egg patties and um, beyond um, breakfast sausages, the, the vegan breakfast sausages, and <laughs> vegan cheese and English muffins. Not like a super healthy or well-balanced meal by any means, but a nice quick thing we can just like heat up in the oven or heat up in the microwave and have. Um, and I made 12 breakfast burritos using a mixture of sweet potato and peppers and onions and regular potatoes, um, a tofu scramble that I cooked up, and um, black beans. So. There's a dozen breakfast burritos, a dozen breakfast sandwiches, um, enchiladas, a lot of muffins, zucchini muffins that I made over the summer when we had zucchinis. I made zucchini bread loaves. Um, so that's what we have so far. And then I think, I think I'm going to probably call it good on the freezer meals just because I think the rest of what we'll do is probably pastas and like quick and easy things like that. So, hey friends, it's a few days later and now i have another task to do i need to do some laundry for the baby so we are actually going to be cloth diapering and before you use your cloth diapers you wash them a bunch of times these diapers they're um actually the liners that go inside the diaper get washed six times before use to increase the absorption so we're gonna go ahead and get the laundry going but i just wanted to show you how cute some of these some of these diapers are like this little one there's little giraffes on it this one is really cute it's got actually some gardening stuff on it which i love ice cream cones so this is one of the last things i have to do before we're like technically like ready so we're gonna go ahead and get these washed six times in our currently being remodeled laundry room. Yes. Paint is done, right? Except for the window. Almost done. Yeah, the bottom of the room. The sun could go out, we're gonna be 